Why do we get thirsty? The human body is made up of a large amount of water, which helps regulate temperature, transport nutrients, support chemical reactions, and keep organs working efficiently. Because water is constantly used, lost, or redistributed within the body, it must be replaced regularly. The first place where the need for water is detected is deep inside the brain, within a region called the hypothalamus. It keeps track of how much water is present in the blood and tissues. When the body begins to lose water through breathing, sweating, or normal chemical activities, the blood becomes slightly more concentrated. This concentration is sensed by special cells in the hypothalamus known as osmoreceptors. These cells are very sensitive and notice even the smallest changes in water balance. When they detect that the body's fluids are becoming too concentrated, they send signals that create the feeling of thirst. Thirst can also occur when the body becomes warmer. During physical activity or on a hot day, the body releases sweat to cool itself down. Sweat contains water and minerals, and losing these fluids huh? increases the concentration huh? of the blood. As soon as this happens, the thirst signal grows stronger to encourage the person to replace what has been lost. The mouth and the throat play a small but noticeable role as well. When the tissues in these areas dry out, huh? the body receives sensory information that supports the thirst response. The kidneys also contribute to thirst by monitoring changes in blood pressure and huh? blood volume. When the body loses water, the total volume of blood circulating huh? through the vessels huh? decreases. Specialized cells within the kidneys, called juxtaglomerular cells, detect this drop. In response, they release a hormone called renin, which begins a chain reaction known as the renin-angiotensin system. This system tightens blood vessels and directly stimulates areas of the brain that generate the desire to drink. Thirst is also influenced by the body's internal clock, known as the circadian rhythm. Throughout the day, the brain adjusts hormones and signals that control hunger, temperature, and hydration. Research shows that the brain increases thirst slightly in the late afternoon and early evening, even before dehydration occurs. <laughs> This anticipation helps the body prepare for nighttime, ensuring that tissues remain hydrated, blood stays balanced, and cellular functions continue smoothly through the night.